an old fish. Because there. There was a time when Chris Garcia wanted nothing to do with school. Chris had had a lot of challenges in his life. He was more worried about self-preservation than he was about uh, school. School was the last of his thoughts or worries, you know, that he, he even considered. And who could blame him? Chris's parents were not always around, so he was forced to raise himself. His father left the family for good when Chris was 10. I felt like I needed him, so it's, everything was falling apart. Moving around house to house, try, living in motels for two months, trying to get put ourselves together, but it wasn't working out. Chris struggled to control his anger, but as the new man of the house with younger siblings in tow, Chris could not lash out at home, so he did it at school. He would, you know, get into confrontations with staff. He would get into confrontations with students. He would throw tantrums. He's thrown a trash can at me. He's thrown books at me. Take everything off the wall. I rip papers, rip homework, flip tables, desks. But in time, Chris found healing and support thanks to the Sierra program through the Merced County Office of Education, a place for students with behavioral issues and conduct disorders. Kids aren't bad. Kids are not bad. They're kids who are living the lifestyle of their homes. I mean, they have poor home lives and no support. So they come here and we support them. I was just thankful that the, I came here to the Sierra program. They helped me a lot. They put me where I want to be. I would have never made it this far without them. Stability at school helped the stability at home. Family continues to be Chris's focus as he's becoming the father he never had to his younger siblings. They make me happy. That's the only thing that makes me feel better. Seeing them makes me happy. As Chris has grown, he has had to take up more and more responsibility for his siblings. That has been especially difficult for him because he hasn't had a father of his own to sort of model those kinds of examples and to, to deal with the, the sort of stuff that he went through. He used to be a kid who flipped desks and punched teachers. Now he's a man, mature and motivated for what comes next. Chris found a way out, whether he found it through his siblings or whether it was our support to help him, he's gonna do something. Students really can be successful. If you put in the time, if you put in the effort, and if you have a student who is engaged and willing to try, then there's just so many possibilities. Just seeing a positive story inspires me to be a better teacher and to try to replicate that success with other students and give them the same opportunities that Chris has had.